I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand graph of absolute function. So we will begin with the very basic parent function which is absolute x. right? So let us represent absolute x in the form of a graph. So what I will do here is we will write this function absolute x as uh, absolute x could be written as as what? As you know absolute function is always positive right so if its side part that is to say if x is greater than 0 in that case absolute value of x is x however if inside part is less than 0 in that case absolute value of x is negative of x correct now as far as the 0 is concerned we normally take 0 with the positive half of the function. So therefore, we will take the x zero value as kind of non-negative, right? So that is the whole concept. Now, how do you sketch it? To sketch this function, what we do is, we first sketch the inside function, which is y equals to x. So first we will sketch y equals to x, which is a straight line going diagonally across quadrant 3 and one right so this line shown in light color indicates y equals to x now let us understand this strategy the strategy here is that in the half which is on the right side of zero x value is positive right so this half x value is positive therefore every point on this graph remains on this line itself they are the same values however if we consider the values which are negative let us say negative one in that case absolute value return will be positive right if i consider negative two it will be returned as positive two so what really happens is that for each value on this line which is negative absolute function makes it positive right so so it kind of reflects on x-axis so that is how we get the graph of absolute x you get an idea so what we learned from here is that the negative half is reflected on the x-axis right so that is the strategy which we are going to use to sketch an absolute function right and that is how you can actually write it also correct so i hope that gives you an idea now we will take two more examples now let us consider a function like uh, y equals to absolute value of x square minus 4 let us say right if you have to sketch this, how are we going to sketch it? Just as we did in the previous example, we will first sketch the inside function, which is x squared minus 4, right? So x squared minus 4 is kind of a parabola, which will be like this, right? So, so that is how it is. The x-intercepts of this function will be plus minus 2, right? So these are the points which are plus minus 2. Now, if I have to sketch absolute value, right, so absolute value means what? We'll apply our strategy, and that is reflect negative part, right, on the x-axis. So that is the strategy. So this is the negative half, correct? So if I reflect it on the x-axis, it will kind of look like this. Do you get the idea? and retain the positive part as such then what do you get you get absolute value of x square minus 4 this is what you get so clearly at x equals to 0 the function value was absolute value if i write x is 0 as minus 4 so this minus 4 when reflected will be plus 4 so what we get is the graph of absolute function absolute value x square minus 4 i hope that is clear if i have to represent this graph 
algebraically as a piecewise function I could write this as it is equals to x square minus 4 the positive half when when x is greater than equal to 2 right this is this part it is negative of x square minus 4 when x is greater than minus 2 but less than plus 2 and on this side it is same as x square minus 4 when x is less than equals to negative 2 do you get it so as a piecewise function we could write absolute function as shown here now the third graph for us is for you to do so what I will do here is I'm not writing an equation but I'm just drawing a graph here right so we have a graph here you need to now so that is our function f of x now what you need to do is sketch a graph for g of x which is absolute value of f of x how are you going to do it and show your method right so you can pause the video answer this question and then look into my suggestion now to sketch the graph for absolute value of the given graph we have to locate the zeros correct now once you locate the zeros you know the positive part will be retained so just draw the positive part as such no problems as far as the negative half is concerned what do you need to do you need to reflect it right so just reflect it so I'm reflecting this part here and this there so this particular function shown in blue is g of x do you see how easy it is right so that is how you should be actually sketching graph for absolute functions from any given graph I hope that really helps you I'm Anil Kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot trick which you've learned here is reflect negative part on the x-axis to get the graph of absolute function of the given function. I hope that helps. Thank you.